Imagine. Imagine if the muscles in your thighs and shoulders stopped repairing themselves. That they were forever becoming weaker and weaker. Now imagine that it's all your skeletal muscles, your arms, your legs. And then imagine eventually your organs, your heart, your lungs. A one-way journey towards eventual shutdown. Now imagine that you're just five years old. This is Deshen. Harrison was just four and a half when he was diagnosed with Duchenne. The doctor told us to take him home, love him, give him a good life. There's nothing we can do. There's no treatment and there's no cure. He's going to die. I was numb. I was filled with sadness. But I knew, I knew deep down I had to fight. Fight for hope fight for my boy, fight for a generation of children to beat Duchenne. A year after his diagnosis, we started the charity in Harrison's name. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is the most common fatal genetic disorder to affect children. It affects one in every three and a half thousand children. Duchenne stops the muscles from producing a key protein required for growth. Diagnosis normally happens around three to five years old when parents first notice that their children aren't as mobile as others. Their decline will continue, leading to the use of a wheelchair around the age of 12, total paralysis as a teenager, and life expectancy into the 20s. Currently, very little works to slow the progress. We found there are charities out there, good charities, that are supporting families like us and looking for that long-term cure. But we knew there needed to be something different. We needed speed, we needed to look at now. We needed to get those treatments into clinical trial and into use in our children. We also need to support research wherever it is happening in the world. A cure is a long-term goal. It's something we absolutely want to achieve but we need to buy time. As a scientist, the money that Harrison's Fund provided has been absolutely crucial, particularly key that they are prepared to fund very early clinical development of drugs for muscular dystrophy. An example of their funding is that Harrison's Fund were prepared to support the early development of a steroid sparing uh, medicine that is a novel plant-derived substance to the extent that now a large pharmaceutical company is translating this into the clinic for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Another thing to their research community that they have provided is a necessary clinical trial capacity in the UK. They've collaborated with a number of patient groups. This has led to raising over £1.2 million to fund 16 critically needed posts in the UK that boost the trial capacity. Clinical trials are being turned away from the UK and this had to change. Harrison is the reason I quit my job and started the charity. But it's not just about Harrison, it's about all children with Duchenne. That's why we fund non-mutation specific research and that's why we're growing. My name is Shelley and in 2014 my 11 month old baby son was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. When I was told my son had Duchenne and that there was nothing I could do, that wasn't something that I was going to sit down and accept. I researched different charities and came across Harrison's Fund who work both in the UK and globally. Advocacy is such an important part of what we do at Harrison's Fund. It's not just about money, but it's also about influence. We have to be able to influence regulators both here in Europe, as well as in the US with the FDA, to give them the urgency that we feel, to make them understand how we feel, and make sure that they can fund and approve treatments as quickly and effectively as possible. 
I want us to set the standard in how to communicate. We need to be the charity that will say and do anything to get the message out there. Our first campaign was called, I Wish My Son Had Cancer. It's a terrible message to deliver to the public, but it's one that was based in our truth. Long-term scientific research towards a potential cure is so important, but the most important goal is to halt the onset of this hideous disease, or at least slow down the progression and give science time to catch up. Our children deserve more time. Help us raise funds. Give us your time. Help spread the message. The more people that know about Duchenne, the, the stronger we are. Don't be afraid to shout. Don't be afraid to fight. We can't let this beat us. And you can help.